Hey, are you a young person that's struggling with their faith? In this video, I wanna share with young people the three bad habits that I believe ruin young people's faith. So let's go. Hi, my name is Felipe, and if you like this content, hit subscribe on the YouTube, we'd really appreciate it. Also, follow me on the Instagram at Passive Dreamer. Now, although these aren't the only three things that destroy young people's faith, I just feel like they have to be highlighted. You see, I've been a youth in church myself, I've been a youth leader, I've been a youth elder, and now I'm a youth pastor. And I've seen these things play out over time, so that's why I feel like highlighting these things right now. So take some notes if you have to. All right, so young people, listen up. Bad habit number one, thinking that all adult Christians embody an apex level Christianity. Think of adults as like big children that work and pay taxes. That's it. They still make mistakes, they still have flaws. And when we think of them as apex level Christians, like as having the highest level of Christianity, we kind of do ourselves a disservice because one, we limit what Christian maturity actually looks like. And number two, we kind of hinder ourselves from even further growth beyond their Christianity. You see, with this line of thinking comes huge expectations. And when we finally scrap this bad habit, we do not compromise our faith just because some adult in our church has let us down, either through their words, their behavior, their mindset, whatever. Just because they stop physically growing doesn't mean that other kinds of growth stop as well. Your youthfulness does not disqualify you for leadership. It's almost as if David, Esther, Daniel, and Joseph and the rest didn't even exist, right? I remember that I was 13 years old when I first became youth director of my local church back in New York when I was growing up a long time ago. 13, can you imagine that? Like zero experience, zero. But I did have one thing, I had drive. And that drive was built on dissatisfaction. I was simply dissatisfied with the way the youth ministry was being run at my local church. And that was the drive that put me on this path to go about this and to do the work. Simple. That's all that was needed. And I was able to do it for about five or so years. And I'm, I don't want to brag or boast, but I had a pretty good time at it. I think I was pretty good at it and people enjoyed it. I was able to work with adults and be able to work with young people at the same time. And everybody was blessed. I'll leave you with a quote from somebody that's famous that I kind of forgot the name right now, but I'll try my best to paraphrase what they said. They said something like this. There are a lot of underqualified people out there doing exactly what you have the skill and the calling to do. So if they're out there doing it, why don't you? And lastly, thinking that you know enough of the Bible, of its doctrines, of your faith, of the world around you. <laughs> Trust me, I've definitely been there. That sort of beautiful little youthful arrogance kind of goes away with age. Trust me. But believe it or not, this sort of thinking is a huge, huge killer for young people and their faith. Because Romans 12, 2 says that all of us, disciples of Jesus, are called for the renewal of our minds. And that's a continuous process. That's not something that just happens when you get baptized or when you go to like summer camp or something like that. It's a continuous thing. The Holy Spirit wants to do a continuous work in our minds, transforming us so that when Jesus comes back, he can take us to be with him forever. The minute that you and I say, hey, I know enough, I'm good enough, I'm skilled enough, I'm knowledgeable enough, that's when God's spirit can no longer work with us. And then we ask ourselves, hey, how come I just can't experience that fire of faith that I had a few years before, back when I was like a preteen, back when I was like a kid, like I used to be so more on fire for Jesus. What happened now? You see, we have to be willing to be open-minded and we can't be harboring this mindset that we know enough. Trust me, this is gonna ruin our faith. So there you have it. Three bad habits that I would say destroy young people's faith. I hope that you scrap all these things and that you experience faith that goes to new heights in your Christian walk. If you like this video, hit me up on YouTube at Pastor Dreamer and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It will be a huge, huge help uh, for me as I start this whole entire channel out. I'm trying to dish out a new video at least every week. It might go into two videos, we don't know yet. Uh, go on Instagram as well. Follow me on Pastor Dreamer. Uh, more content displayed there as well. Really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for the support and the effort. Take care.